Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasan. And actually today, what I'm actually going to be doing is uh, doing another news and rumors video. This is actually a huge rumor that's been going around for a while. You know, ever since All Out, you know, there's been a lot of talk about CM Punk and what his future with AEW is going to be. And at this point, it's looking like he's done with AEW. They're going to buy his contract out, which I believe he gets paid all the money and... It might be a no-compete clause or something like that if his contract actually goes out. But there's a lot of talk of him going to WWE. You know, before he actually went to AEW, there's a lot of talk before him showing up in uh, WWE. But he chose to go with AEW. They offered him a big contract or whatever. But since all the stuff went down at All Out AEW, it seems like he's on his way out at this point. And there's a lot of ton of rumors about it. There's talk about some people want him there. Some people don't want him in WWE. And, you know... A report actually came out, uh, I believe yesterday or today or something like that, that actually Triple H is actually super open to actually having CM Punk there. And that's the number one thing that Dirty cares about. No matter if Triple H is running it, Vince McMahon, whoever's running it, it's money, it's making money, it's drawing more people to the audience. That's all they care about the most because there's plenty of guys who people don't never come back to wwe and they actually came back and it was all because of you can make the money off they can make a ton of money off cm punk i mean cm punk versus Roman Reigns, that's a wrestlemania main event right there i mean there's so many matches that you can do with him and he's still i mean i don't know if he's a bigger draw than roman he's definitely not a bigger draw than brock but he's he, he's at uh, he's right on their level as far as drawing goes for you know wrestling just in general and stuff and to be honest, he can't do the stuff that he did in AEW that he did in WWE. That's just because of, you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't. I pay attention to AEW, but I don't pay attention that much. But just the way Tony Khan looks and acts, like he, it just seems like you know people just push over him, and he just doesn't say or do anything. Especially at that press conference and stuff. I just felt like CM Punk felt like he had the opportunity and he felt like he could he could basically say whatever he wanted to him do whatever he wanted and tony khan wasn't gonna say anything because i don't think cm punk would do any of that stuff if he worked for wwe that's just my personal opinion on it and even if he came back to wwe i don't think you had to worry about anything like that because i feel like he had the power to get away with the stuff that he did and stuff but as far as cm punk coming back i would love to actually see him back and someone actually said that you know, the return won't be as big. I think the return will be just as big because a lot of people don't expect it. And, you know, th this is where people want to see him come back. People want to see him come back to WWE because he still wants that WrestleMania main event. No matter what indie talent or AEW guy wants to say, everybody in the wrestling business wants a WrestleMania main event. It don't matter all out main events, uh, all Ring of Honor, Impact. Everybody wants because that's that's no matter what happens, that's still the biggest show. Having that main event spot is still the biggest thing that you can get. Yeah, CM Punk coming to WWE, I'll be excited for it. All the shenanigans, all the antics that was going on in AEW, I don't think that WWE would have to worry about that. And especially, I don't think they even care about it since the reports are coming out that they actually want to talk to him. Sometimes if you're a big enough star, you can get away with it. But then it comes to a point where you don't get away with it. But I, 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 think, I, think, they, I think that there's a strong, I think that there's a 60% chance. And I actually will put a poll up in my uh, community tab. Go check out that poll. I'll definitely put a poll up and to see if you guys want to see him come back. If you don't want to see him come back to WWE. But I think at this point, that's the only place he can go. Because I'm hearing that's the only people that can actually live up to that contract. Nobody else can uh, do that contract. So uh, it just seems like that's the only place that he can actually go. But yeah, tell me your thoughts inside the comment section below. Do you want to see CM Punk back in WWE? Should he just retire? I mean, that's the only thing he can do at this point. Unless he takes a less contract somewhere else, that's the only thing that he can do is take a less contract somewhere else. Because nobody can afford. I heard. I don't know what the actual numbers were. I heard it was five million a year, which no other wrestling company can afford to pay somebody five million a year except WWE and AEW. That's really about it. I believe that's what they said. And he got merchandise and other stuff on top of that. So he he probably was get played close to ten million or something like that. But yeah, tell me your thoughts on the comment section below. I thought I'd make this quick video about CM Punk actually potentially coming back to WWE. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.